Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce Hunt. I hope you are good and doing well. So today I'm going to discuss about use third-party web components in LWC in beta. So this feature is still in beta, but we can use in you know, our LWC component how we can leverage this feature. I will show you the step-by-step -step guides how we can implement this third-party web components inside our LWC. So don't skip any part of this video if you want to learn this feature step-by-step. -step. And you can implement in your org as well. Okay, this is the very most important feature because someone created like, uh, like uh, the web components and after that you can utilize that web component inside the Salesforce. So that is the reusability purpose or you know lightning uh, locker services and web security provided by these all you know components. Please focus on this one. This is the very most important. And uh, let's get started without any further delay. And before starting this video, I request you to all please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel. Also, you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never we miss any kind of update from my site. First of all, let me create the Lightning Web component, and we can leverage that Lightning Web component as well as you know web components, third-party web component inside the LWC. So let me create one LWC. So I'm using Windows. So you can press Control C P. And create the lightning web component component name it can be anything for now in this example i'm using like editable js so we can name it as a editable list component so edit table list comp something like that you can give anything as you want so my component is created successfully so after that you have to open your you know or and uh, upload third party web component in a static resource so let me open my org. So under the uh, this org, I already uploaded the JS file. So this is my JS file third party web component, right? This is the old code. If you need this code, I can, you know, uh, attach this file or you 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 can find out this code in my repo. I will paste it the link in the description section if you want. Okay. So please mention your comments in uh, this video descriptions or in comment section so i will help you to find out these all codes okay so now i already uploaded that js library that is web component third party web component like in a static resource after that we have to utilize this static resource in our lwc so first of all if you want to use any static resource so you have to load your script right okay so first of all, let me tell you how we can load. This is the JS file. So we have to use like import and under this curly bracket, load script tag. Okay. So you have to use load script. Okay. From platform resource loader. So this is the predefined import, uh, you know, namespace given by the LWC framework. And after that, we have to use our, you know, uh, custom web component resource here. So how we can use that? So first of all, you have to use like import and that is our editable, right? Editable, editable list, okay, from uh, this one. So let me copy the name. So this is the name. Just you have to keep this same name inside your JS file. Otherwise, it will not work like this. Okay, so now you can see our import this is the first step we already seen like uh, how we can get the third party web component and uh, import into the static resource and after that we can use this static resource inside this lwc so this step is done now create one boolean property because i need to check like uh, how many time this library is loaded successfully or not like that so always use this boolean property with render callback lifecycle hooks okay so now here let's say is loaded something like that first time it may falls and after that we can use it in a render callback okay so after that you can see my code here like uh, is loaded is loaded and return false if is loaded slice first time is in slice as a false so you can see uh, this piece of code not uh, execute again and again okay it's execute only one time when the your script is loaded successfully that's why i use this one after that, we can use, because it's a single, you know, JS file. So don't worry about this, you know, promise also. Let me remove it. 
because I don't want to use you know promise all because promise all always use for you know if you have like multiple script or you know trials so that uh, that time you can use this functionality as of now I'm using only single one so no need worry about like every time we have to use promise okay so let me add this you know load script inside here so how we can load this script okay so we have to use like load script this dot our uh, uh, static resource name like load script this is the uh, sing, uh, you know piece of code you have to use it after that this step is done let me save this component okay so once you save this component let's see it's deployed successfully yeah so it's deployed successfully after that you have to check right you have to check like uh, in the html it is working or not so let me open the html side by side and make it as true first of all this you know markup file so let me close it as a true okay and target i can use inside my app page home page record page something like that right so just save this under here i can add the card first of all select card right let's say card let me remove everything from the card under title i can use like editable list here okay just save this and here the main is starting from here so we have to use our third party you know uh, web component inside here so how we can use that so first of all you have to use here library also have this you know tag so you have to use inside here so first of all same thing we already use like a lightning card right like lightning slash card it means kebab case so same thing we have to use for the uh, third party web component as well so now here we have to use like editable right editable hyphen list okay let me close it under here in this one we have to use like a you know title we can use it otherwise leave it as it is because we already use the title here so no need here so list item let's say list item hyphen zero equal to and here we have to use like first item let's say first list item right so this is the one thing inside a you know it's a list an ist list item zero first list item you can add as much as you can like a one two or you know you can use like list item like three okay equal to like a fourth because it's a index based right index always start from zero that's why you can see the in zero index we have first element right and after that you can close it because we already close it now we have to check uh, this one so let me add like alternative text so let's say add item hyphen text it's a kebab case because these property inside the js file so let's say add new item something like that let me save this once you save this now we have to test this uh, you know uh, this library so please focus if you get these things let's say no module something like that you have to tell lwc framework like this is the external you know external one so you have to use this uh, you know here i will tell you how we can use that right so now uh, let me close this one here to here so you have to inform the lwc component like uh, this is the external component right so you have to tell the lwc component let's say lwc lwc colon external right so this tag you have to use it otherwise you will be get an error again and again so you have to avoid like this error so you have to use lwc colon external because it's a third party web component so framework can recognize easily okay so you have to use it this is the uh, things you have to remember it so let me deploy it let me open my org so once you deploy your component you can just 
added any record page so right now i'm using contact and under the contact i just drag and drop data component here you can see this is the lwc component inside this lwc we are using third party web component so this is the editable list so we already did this like first item second item everything here so let me remove third item let's say this one so just click on this one so third item is automatic deleted from the list if you want to add let's say a demo like new item you can add it using this plus icon so new item is added here let's say test so let me add the test as well so you can see the test or let's say salesforce you can add the salesforce as well also you know third party third party and third party web component components components okay so you can add like this so let me click on this one if you want to remove it you can remove it from here like that so this is how you can use third party web component inside the lwc okay that is the very most important for us i will create lots of video about it like next feature what is the next feature about this third party web component because this is the simplest you know way we have to use like a static resource under the res static resource we have third party you know web component code but i will tell you how we can use another way to use this third party web component inside the lwc so please keep in touch okay so i hope guys if you are enjoying this video please like share comment subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys